Spooky Kids, it's Kenneth Huerta, lead guitarist for thrash metal band Social Bomb. And lead vocal and lead piano for House Lions. And this is React Riffs. The show where musicians react to tracks from the Spooky Kids work desk. All right, let's see. Psychedelic Porn Crumpets, the name of this song, Found God in a Tomato. Yeah, this is groovy. I'm really excited to hear what the what the vocals is gonna sound like. If there's even vocals in the song, I have no idea. But if, it's, if it comes, it's, it's gonna be really good. Okay, yeah, yeah, this is going on my acid trip playlist, 100%. <laughs> hey, yeah, this, this funky guitar riff right here with those psychedelic vocals, is, that speaks to my soul right there, this part. That's great. Okay, uh, let's get into track two. Um, Knock Loose, All My Friends. I've heard of Knock Loose, but I've never listened to them. Right off the bat, these guys are insane. Yeah, this, this is heavy, this is this is hard. It makes me want to, you know, start playing around. Yeah, these guys' vocals is insane. Oh, wow. Yeah, this is about to get fucking heavy. Oh, somebody's about to die. Oh god. Oh shit. Shit son, yeah, that, that is good. That's a good breakdown right there. Oh yeah, no, thank you. Thank you for showing me this. Seriously. <laughs> That's fucking nasty. That's a nasty riff. Okay, here we go. Straight into track number three. Bat Cave, Young Limbs and Numb Hymns. Full album first track off of it. Okay, uh, yeah, yeah, I'm digging this, this has got some really weird harmonics going on. Oh, um, it was too groovy, it was blowing my mind, I was, it was blowing my mind and I was trying to think of what to say at the same time, it was like, <laughs> yeah, right off the bat, they, they're doing the, in the beginning of the, of the song, they're doing this, this really crazy harmonic, and then blending all that the 80s style together with that harmonic sound really good with that uh, 80s beat. Uh, I, really, I really enjoyed it. It was, it was pretty good. Here we go with track four. This is uh, Strawberry Girls, uh, Angel Dust, featuring Haley Nicole Woodward. We got, we got some really clean, I hate to say it, Swan-esque type riffs going on here. Okay. Yeah, this second riff here, this tapping, this tapping riff that's going on, it's, it's, it's insane. It's really good. And, uh, okay, yeah, this that's an A, a triple A plus riff. Wow, he's just continuing to impress me with these. And track five, see you, space cowboy. Nine one one, call help. I've overdosed on philosophy. Okay, I butchered that title, but this is uh this is a band that I've heard of. But oh shit! Oh wow, yeah, that's insane. Real crazy, real chaotic. Uh, you know, hardcore sound. Yeah, this is. Like extremely technical playing, uh, it's taking me a second to fathom what these guys are even doing right now. Oh, the song is only a minute long. That's funny. They have elements of that, like they bring me the horizons, like first album. I, I enjoyed it. It's, it's really good. Track number six, Alpha Wolf, Black Mamba. Oh, you got the guy, the guy wearing the, uh, the jersey. That's that's total. Hey, yeah, hell yeah, we got some shit. Yeah, that's brutal. Yeah, my impressions of this of this band, this song. Um, I've never heard of this band before, uh, Alpha Wolf, but but I really dig it. I dig that that drop A tuning they're doing, the, the those gent riffs. Uh, they even got a little bit of a, a new metal kind of kind of sound. Do it. Song number seven, Real Thing by Turnstile. I'm especially excited for this one because I know one song by Turnstile 
and I really enjoy their song. That one song. I don't know, remember. I think it's called Death Flips. Okay, we got a DMT chip going on here for some songs. Oh, that's a sick riff. But yeah, I wouldn't expect anything less from them. I really, really, I really love this style of hardcore. It's, it's, uh, just goes to show you, you don't have to play anything too crazy to make a good song. It's, it's, it's uh, simple, it's catchy. Yeah, this is right up my alley because, you know, I like to play uh, the crossover thrash metal, adding, adding, fusing this, you know, these kinds of riffs into to my brand of thrash. Oh, okay. Track number eight, Kublai Khan. Oh, wow. And they're from Texas. I did not know that. So, represent the greatest state in America. Yeah, yeah Turnstile, they're, they're a good hardcore. This this style of hardcore, oh, uh, I dig it too. Oh, hell yeah. Yeah, this riff is really good. I, you know the band, you know it's a good beatdown band. If every guy in the band looks like, they'll whoop your ass. That was heavy. That, that was heavy. Turning track nine, Trash Boat, Old Soul. Uh, okay, so... Yeah, yeah, this guitarist was really going through something when he wrote this piece. Right off the bat, um... You know, I really don't listen to this this kind of music. Uh, I only know... Like, I know I know that one song by Hawthorne Heights. And, you know, it reminds me... This reminds me of it. Or kind of, uh... Alternative rock kind of kind of uh, style. Alright, we're getting into track 10. I had an amazing conversation about this this band and this this particular music scene. Oh sh shit. <laughs> that's what yeah, that's insane. I wish I could play like this. I'm just a simple thrasher. That's that's good, that's good. I really, I really, I don't, I never ever listen to this kind of, this kind of, uh, this kind of metal. I don't know what it's like, slam, or if it's just brutal, tech death, you know, these, uh, these death metalers have like 20 different sub-genres of, of tech death. Yeah, that's insane. Yeah, this is insane, insane guitar work. And not only the guitar, the vocalist too, kudos to the vocalist. Oh my goodness. He, they have got some chops. Damn. Absolutely disgusting. Guttural. Oh yeah, no, that's vocals that brings a smile to my face. That's just amazing. <laughs> so, yeah, A plus, A plus for sure. Yeah, Gore Pot, the so Flying Goochman. <laughs> and these days, temper. Got some more, some more beat down. Oh, this is really good. It, uh, reminds me of um, Boston, so that old, that old hardcore scene, but with like an insane amount of strings. They're tuned, yeah, they're tuned really low. But I like, I like this a lot. It's the way they're mixing the, they're mixing the, the gen riffs, the, the really low tuning, mixing it with the old, the old school hardcore. Oh, that's a sick breakdown. <laughs> Even slower. Oh yeah, I dig that. I dig that. That's tough. Got track 12, Wild Roses Remix by Fragrance. Cholo Goth. This is something I have never ever heard of ever. It's like completely new to me. Oh, that's a vibe though. Oh, that's amazing. Yeah, I don't know. I'm speechless. I, I like this way too much. The fusion. Yeah, that's exciting. That's, I mean, that's just something like just completely new to me. Like I've never heard of this or anything like this. That's legit. Last try. This is uh, track number 13, Emperor Ino Asetana, off the album In the Nightshade Eclipse. This is actually an interesting one for me because I used to be like 100% thrash or die, and I have actually literally never listened to one black metal song in my entire life. But I can see, I can see why people like this. Oh yeah, yeah. I was not expecting riffage like this. This is not like the stereotype of, of black metal having. Uh, one riff and being recorded with the kid's toy. This this is this is quality. It's quality shit right here. Typical black metal, you know, chugging the one note. I'm digging the, the power metal vibes off of this. Some even thrashy sounding riffs in there. I, I, I like that. 
But y'all made an Emperor fan out of me for sure. Yeah. yeah, those Scandinavian dudes, they know what they're doing. I dig that riffage. Melodic, chaotic, all at once. Oh yeah. That was powerful. I like that. Yeah. Uh, I was just surprised at the, a lot of different elements that, of, of different metals that I heard. But, and then, but you know, they had like some really good power metal riffs in there. They had the synth. Shoot, this is my Ibanez RG. Her name's Cecilia. I actually haven't touched or played her in over over a year since uh, I had any reason to play her. I'm glad they, they asked me to come to this video because it gave me a chance to clean her up a bit and, and put new tunes on her. Been here reminiscing about the old times, good times I've had with the guitar, real mini. Tasty riffs on it, uh, lines of coke off it in the show, got beer on it, all kinds of stuff, that's just fun.